Hi, thanks for watching my video today. Today I'd like to answer a question about something I've seen on uh, Facebook message groups and uh, Instagram and Discord servers for BMMG <clears throat> and that is how do you get multiple cannons to fire at a target simultaneously at the same time? And so I set something up here and I want to try to explain this to people who may be new to BeamMG and not understand certain things. So let's hit J and let's go into our car library or our mod library. And I like to refer to this as my toy box and these are my toys. These are mods and everything in here, There's you can basically break these down into three categories. One category would be a vehicle or a plane and everybody knows what to do with that. Then you have your standard props that you have no interaction with. A fruit stand, a wall, a styrofoam wall. You spawn them, you crash cars into them, and that's about it. There's no interaction. And then you have your interactive props. This is the bollard, I think it's called, and it rises up. So you interact by pressing a space bar. <clears throat> and then you have this gate you can interact with it and then you have the sled or the launching ramp and you can interact with it so what we're going to talk about today though are going to be these three cannons and I have them set up on this little road that I built and they're going to fire over here and I'm going to show you how you fire these simultaneously at the exact same time at a vehicle or target that's going to be going across that bridge. But let me go down there and get rid of all that stuff and then we'll come back and pick up where we left off. So here we are back at the cannons and this is going to be our target vehicle, the dry van. And it is already programmed to drive across the bridge. You'll see it cross the bridge here shortly. So that's going to be our target. And this, the bridge and the cannons are the proper height so that the cannons should hit a good broadside right around this level. So everything is set up. So let's put the, the van back to where it belongs. And we're going to fire the cannons. So when you're on a cannon, even though I am, the game is paused, I'm going to press space. So that cannon right there has been fired. Tap to the second one, hit space. So that cannon's been fired. And press space. So all three cannons have been fired even though it's been, the game is paused. I'm going to hit alt, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow to slow everything down. And we're going to hit J and unfreeze the game. Slow this down, that's quite fast. And let's go over here. And you can see the where the cannonballs are going to hit. Right about so. Should be a there's spaced apart kind of far, so maybe we'll bring this cannon in just a little bit. Try to put this cannonball right there. So let's uh, move that, that cannon. So F11. And we're just going to bring this one in just a little bit. And just drop it. Okay, press J. Now we're on this cannon. No, nope, we are not. We're on that one. So space, space, and space. Slow our physics down by Alt, left arrow. Press J to unfreeze everything. And now let's see how they look. If they're more centralized. Okay, much better. There you go. 
<clears throat> so it looks like they're all targeting like right here. So we'll call that one, two, three. Kind of in between the third and fourth pillars. So that's going to be our target for the truck. So when that truck gets right about here, we're going to go ahead and fire the cannons. And the truck should roll forward and get into the cannons. So we're going to hit Shift R to reset everything. Go to F11. This is our clone van, the, the dry van. So we're going to press that, the started in route. And let's go back to the cannons. But let's actually, let's pause that. Unfreeze this. Let these cannons get reset. We'll press Alt, right arrow several times, get everything back to normal. Now we can hit J, F11, and send the van on its way. But we're going to slow everything down by hitting Alt, left arrow, two or three times. We want everything to go nice and slow so it's easy. So this is going to be the scene that we're going to capture. So we want to be able to play this back so we can capture it on our Shadow Play software. So we're going to go ahead and hit Record on the recorder. So the van's coming, so let's get over to the other cannon and hit J to unfreeze everything. Now the van should be rolling. You can see it is 1%, 2%. We'll speed everything up a little bit. And we can go a little bit faster than that. So we'll just stay right here and we'll pause the game once that that dry van gets right about here. Because remember, them cannonballs are going to converge in between these two. So right about there. Now we're going to tab over. Space. Tab. Space. Tab. Space. And if you want, we can go over here. And get a better angle of how this is going to go. We'll hit arrow, uh, Alt left arrow one time, slow our physics down even a little bit more, and let it go. Now we're going to hit J. He can't get no better than that. And the physics freaked the computer out. My computer uh, froze for a second there, but that's it. Now, if you want to play it back, now that we've recorded the scene, all you have to do is hit stop recording. And you can go anywhere you want. You can go to the to the van and hit 4 and just hit play. Keep your fingers on alt left arrow to slow it down. <clears throat> and you can play it again. Whoops. Let's reload that. And let's get it back. There we go. So if you'd like to get a view from the cannon, you can go to the cannon and get a, a shot from there. You can back it up. Hit Shift-C, and we can go over here. You want to get as many different camera angles as you can. Zoom in. Blur. This will blur out the forest in the background. Alt U. Press J. We are at 50%. There's 75%. Here comes the truck. That's 100%. 75, 50, 25. there you go. So I hope you understand. All you have to do is press um, anything that you can interact with. All you have to do is press J, freeze your scene, interact with it, press J, let your scene go, and use this recorder, and then play your scene back, and it will, it will play everything back seamlessly. And nobody will ever know what you're doing.